It's five o'clock in the morning and we have just had our wake up call. Yay! To go on an early morning safari. Philip, are you coming? Big enthusiasm. We're not morning people. But at least we've woken up under the most beautiful ceiling and that's the fan that's been keeping us cool all night. It was dark when we got to the room last night and I hadn't seen this view. Oh, that is something to wake up to. The hat is crucial this morning because it was too dark in the bathroom to be able to draw any eyebrows on. Don't think you can tell with the hat. I love these walkways over the African bush. Where are the others? Oh, I hear people. Is that them? Yes. Why is everyone looking so surprised? <laughs> this is impossible. Yes. The sunglasses also hide the eyebrows. Genius. And they're off. We're actually going out to see if we can find those lions again. Last night, we saw a male lion, two females and a cub, but it was dark, so it was with the red light. And we're going to go and see if we can find them again this morning. Well, I wasn't expecting this first thing in the morning. <laughs> It seems neither was she. I'm speechless. In 20 years of coming on safari, I have never seen lions mating. I've never seen anything mating for that matter. It feels like we shouldn't have been witnessing such a private moment. Well, that was an unexpectedly romantic start to the day. What a gorgeous place for breakfast. I'm thinking a spot of hot chocolate. <laughs> it's really good. We'll have a mixture of hot chocolate, <laughs> coffee and amarula. Yeah, it, it's called, like amarula. It's called mo mocha chocorula. A mocha chocorula. Yeah, <laughs> mocha chocorula. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's a bit X-rated this morning's drive. Mm. It's actually so tempting to just start every day with this. Safari is no place for intermittent fasting. <laughs> Singing. I don't know if she was literally t telling herself about two minutes ago. Just feeling left out. <laughs> we're just heading back to the camp now, and it turns out that once again we were having our snack right next to the hippos. Oh, there's loads in there. Yeah, quite, quite a few, eh? Six. Yeah. Oh, Philip's very happy. There's all sorts of walk hogs baby, what in the baby. What? No, 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 no. Where? Oh, look. They're trotting. They have two of them. There are many yes. more. They're babies. Oh. We've been welcomed back with beetroot and apple, and this might be the way of getting me to eat beetroot. Right, it's delicious. As soon as we finished our beetroot and apple, 
We've been led through to breakfast, which looks absolutely beautiful. I wasn't going to have any, but actually, oh, cheese. I think I can definitely be persuaded, actually. Wow. Oh, ooh. Oh, and I see you <laughs> straight in with the champagne. <laughs> Never mind the game drives. This is the way to start the day. You had no appetite for so long that it just makes me smile and giggle whenever I see you tucking into a massive meal, which I do every single meal time now. Yes. Life is good. Well, I suppose I've got to come have some ketchup to do. <laughs> yeah, you do. What madness is this? Well, I need a hat. I forgot yeah, that. That's not madness. That, yes. I've got your mother's approval. The other one that I tried on, she said it was too Tirola, and I actually I agreed. But I love Why pangolin. are you buying a pangolin bowl? So at the beach house, they've got the, the ugliest, just basic white balls. And I keep having pineapple yogurt, which you can't buy in, in France. My darling, my heart is breaking for you. You've had to have pineapple yogurt from a plain white bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so it's bringing it all up again. But, uh, no, but look at this. And it's got little, little bugs and the, the tongue is, I, anyway, I think it's really cute. Look, it's up to you. Are you seriously getting it just for pineapple yogurt? Absolutely. Oh no, he's dithering. He doesn't know if he prefers a salt and pepper. Oh, this is a very good one. Oh yes, that is an excellent salt and pepper thing, isn't it? I might get taken back to La Lande using with the Ardmore tablecloth. Oh, actually. Ah, uh, now you're talking. I've also fallen in love with something. I think the blues are really pretty and I'm looking every year I get one more piece to add to the beach house. Something that my father would have loved because we used to do that together every year. And I think this will be so beautiful with his artwork and I think he would have chosen this too. So that's the piece I'm choosing this year. Oh, Philip, look at that modelling the new hat. Thank you. He's called Oscar. Oh, he he is called Oscar, yes. is he? OK. I didn't know uh, him. I didn't realise that was a new member of our family arriving. You? I haven't seen this yet. No, but uh, oh, I didn't name him. Goodness. But it had a little tag on it that said that apparently he's called Oscar. Oh, this is the pool that they're refilling at the moment. I haven't been down it. Actually, it looks nearly finished. I think tomorrow the pool will be up and running. This is great. What a view. I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing the view from our little balcony now. I mean, I think you it's mainly of it. bushes. No, because it was dark last oh, night yeah, when we got there, and this morning it was a little tired. We have a little plunge pool. It's a far more beautiful view than I thought, because I thought we could only see trees from here. But actually, no, you can see beyond the trees. I'm loving this, by the way. <laughs> You're looking the part. Thank you. Now, if only you had some of your pineapple yogurt for your bowl, that you'd be would laughing. That would look complete, wouldn't it? Just I have to say, I quite like my desk for the day. I think this, this is something I could definitely get used to, but I love that about having a vlog because it means that wherever I am in the world, I can still be working. And today, Philip and I are working on the Chambre d'Henriette, finding the next things that we have to do. And for that, I'm using Milanote, and I'm very lucky because they've offered to sponsor today's video with this ad. And I'm really excited to show you how it works. You have various boards. So before we had a mood board, I've shown you all that one before. We had all of the beautiful wallpapers that we thought might work, trying to work out what would go with the headboards that we had. From that, we chose our wallpaper, that's been ordered, and within Milanote, we also have a to-do list everything that needs doing. Amory is halfway through the moving of the electrics. He's already managed to get the wires off the wall and they'll be going back in the right place. But the job that Philip and I have is to choose which sockets and switches we're going to put into the room and get those ordered so they're there ready when the moment comes. We're going to use the same company that we used before for sockets around the chateau. They have very beautiful porcelain ones, which are like the old 1930s sockets. So it gives that feel as though the electrics haven't been touched since then though they're brand new, which is really nice. Or in many of the downstairs rooms, we've used something a little bit more formal, which is a brass or a wooden rotary switch. And then it has a lovely wooden surround. They come in different shapes and then you can paint them to any color. So I'm going to just drop these into our board and it's very easy to do that using the Milanote web clipper. You find the image that you like online and then click on the Milanote web clipper and there it is in your board. And by putting everything into our confirmed choices board, these are all the things that we're definitely using in the room, we can see which works best with the choices we've made so far. And I don't know about you, Philip, but I think it should be the one with the wooden surround because we can paint it to match the woodwork in the rest mm. of the room with those lovely greens that we've chosen. It'll disappear more, I think. I think with the white ones, with the porcelain, 
if it's a two different shade of white, it's going to be... That's what was scaring me with the porcelain, yeah. with the background of the wallpaper. Exactly. Okay, so we'll go for the sockets like this with the surround of the wood and the same for the switches. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, I can order that whilst I'm here on Safari, thanks to Milano, because with this we can see exactly what works. And there's lots of templates to get you started. And we can keep track of a total project through the to-do lists, the mood board. And even when I haven't got my laptop with me, if I'm in a shop, for example, I have the Milano app on my phone. Also, you can share your projects with other team members. So Philip can get that on his phone and we all have the most up-to-date version. If you'd like to try Milano for your own creative project, it is available for free with no time limit just click the link in the description box below to sign up and get started and i'd love to hear what you're working on i think i've just got time to get these switches ordered before going back to another game drive on our way there's a nyala family there's a little baby look at his ears just like lancelot hello hiding behind the tree it's hard to walk away and i can't maybe just walk past them on the way to lunch and the plan for this afternoon we want to go over the mountains which is going to be on this side of the game reserve it's a um, beautiful area ah, you will like it okay oh, i've just spotted rhino over there we're looping around them to see if we can get a closer look i mean pretty close now man how surreal is this see the rhinos right there Oh, and they're really close. Oh, you can really see his face. Usually they're in the long grass so much that you never see their faces. Oh, look at them. Oh, he's trotting. Oh, this is a beautiful sighting. Two rhinos and a zebra's bottom. Oh, this is magnificent. I think this is one of the best sightings I've ever had of a rhino. This is a white rhino. If you look in the rhino that is closer to us, if you look the size of the tummy, you see how low it's hanging. Yes. That female rhino is pregnant. It's a very nasty wound on that zebra. How did she get that? That would be um, from loud. They use the claws to catch the zebra with the pulling force that but has pulled the skin off. But that is a lucky zebra. Yeah, very lucky. <laughs> it's quite amazing how quickly they can heal. Yeah. I think that I enjoy driving around the reserve as much as I do seeing the animals. There's just something so unspoilt and calming about it. The scenery is breathtaking. Just being here in this beautiful weather, driving around, doesn't matter if we forget that or not. There he is. My it's a big animal, eh? Big excitement. There's a dung beetle. Everyone's so excited. <laughs> I am filming, Mummy. I'm filming you instead of the dung beetle. Oh, look at them with their ball of Just dung. Two. They're so happy one's with their ball of dung. The one's pushing. I never seen a. Oh, yeah, he's got. Um... Stop. It's still, it's still away. Yeah, still away on the. Oh, that one's just what's sitting on it. That must be really fun while your friend pushes. I think the other one's like, this is my dung beetle. Like, nah, mine now. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and the female lays its eggs in there. Can he bring mantis? He can uh, no. do some move karate. That's yeah. the smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he's got all the moves. He has got the moves. <laughs> Jeremy's coming for the ride. Jeremy's going wherever we're going. <laughs> looking for a cheetah because this is the perfect spot for them. What's been your favourite thing Antoine so far? Uh, lion and uh, cheetah. 
Okay, so we're we're ending on one of the best. I really we're looking like at you. We started with the lions. And just, 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 look how close we are. This is just crazy. We are going so steeply uphill at the moment. Yeah. Oh, there's, oh, there's, we're, we're just coming up here for our sundown. It's what a view! It feels so on top of the world. She if I care. We have a standoff here. Percy's refusing to wear a blanket, even though it's not that cold. So Mummy's refusing to get out of the vehicle because Percy's refusing to wear a blanket. Yes. Oh, I think you've won, Percy. It's She's known coming. The, it's known as the blanket standoff of 2024. We've <laughs> spoken about for years to come. That rock was made for you. <laughs> Our amazing ranger and tracker are setting up the bar. Time for sundowners. I've given in actually, I'm wearing my jumper now, but that's only because I wanted to. Cheers. Cheers, super one. Are you loving it? It's a bit of a pinch myself moment. I'm here with so many of the people that I love and have a whiskey soda and a view. A beer engagement. Very special memories. And when moments like this happen, it's important to stop, realise how wonderful things are because there are so many difficult is in life but occasionally there's this perfect well, moment one. and I wish I could it's freeze it because this is one of them. There's a big spider in you. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Look. What's his name? Uh, mm, he looks quite stingy doesn't mm. he that one? Yeah, I'll Actually, carry him onto the rock. Oh he's gone. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> How cold are you? I'm sorry. And Percy's still in a t-shirt. What? Yes. What's this hood thing? Darling I have a friend that I don't want to catch cold. That's very clear. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's any danger of it. <laughs> Things have changed since safaris a hundred years ago. We're not so much chasing animals as animals. We're going to put one, one, one of those pellets this day and then close. Are you ready to do chateau defence next time? Because we are looking for patrols. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Are you going to get one for the back garden in Brussels now? <laughs> I love the way you didn't stop smiling for one second. How was that, Antoine? This is such a good outfit, Mummy. You are a trendsetter. I did not release an album. Yeah, the new album. <laughs> no, seriously, you safari chic. Superb! And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> there is a roadblock. What could it be? A rhino. A lion. No, it is a rabbit. It's a tiny little rabbit. Boy, rabbit. <laughs> and he's gone. Apparently they're hyenas, I can't see anything now, I don't know what it is. Which is exactly what Marie wanted to see. Oh, the binoculars are going on. This is the moment. Can you see a hyena? Yes, it's behind the bush, you can't see it yet. can't see it. That's where those hyenas are, they, there is a den. The den is on the side. Oh my god, oh my god. Wow. Look, look. Oh, there's a, a baby. baby. What? No. Oh my goodness. At dusk, I can't get very good footage of them, but at least you get the atmosphere that we're sitting through at the moment. The one which is on the road is going to leave anytime soon, because that's the adult. It's going to go to look for food for the liquid. Yes. Whatever they get, they're going to bring it back to the liquid. Oh, that's mm. one. Wow. Oh, right next to us. Very inquisitive. This is unbelievable. Hello. This is so cute. I think he's now trying to eat the car. There's so many of them, I can't believe it. Literally to the dead of the We have some snacks and then they're smelling the food. Of course. That's why they are very curious. They won't do anything to us. The hyenas are very smart. They can see us in the vehicle as human beings. It's just that the little ones are very curious and they are smelling something. Mm -hmm. Did you saw as soon as mom come 
come yeah. back. Mm. Yeah. Everybody went. She told them mm. off. Yeah, they they going back into the barrows. It might happen that the adults are about to leave now, so he's telling them to go back to the barrows. What is he? That was doing? amazing. Yeah. It's quite a oh, that's a, I know you wanted to see Heine for that, really. <laughs> that was blew it out of the water. Everything yeah, today is just been when so came. cool. Yeah, he was really telling them to go back. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mom was not happy that they get away getting closer to us. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. wow. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Amazing. A good finale. <laughs> that was so amazing. Wonderful. What a day! Even the best time. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. Did you see the top of the pipe? Oh, it's huge. You can see it. Natty, look away. Oh yes, I see it slithering along the ground. Okay. Good spot. Yeah. Wow. Python. Oh, that's the first time I see a python. Yeah. Really? I hope it's the last. Surely. We just found me. The tiniest, cutest yeah. chameleon on the way home, clinging on, to that little twig. He does look exactly like a leaf. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Yes. Yeah. We are home. We have just been told that dinner tonight is not in the dining room. Oh, we're in the boma. That is just idyllic. Oh, it's a buffet, so it's everything. Bravos, chicken. I'm going to have a little bit of salad with feta as my starter. Oh, look at the cheese platter. Okay, it's a bit too early for that. We haven't had our starter yet. And everyone else is having the apple and butternut soup. I'm happy with my Greek salad. I'm sorry. I know it's a beautiful, romantic evening. We've even got a rose, but I'm having a lot of red onion. <laughs> This was so delicious. We're the last people to leave. The whole meal was wonderful. We've been chatting and chatting and now we have to be escorted back to our rooms because we can't walk around the camp at night alone. I can't believe this. It's magical. We came back from dinner on our last night to find that all these little tea lights have been lit in the bathroom. A bubble bath has been run for us. And the little piece de resistance, there's a little bottle of Amarula and two glasses. But I mean, how can we not have a bath now? So Philip and I will end our engagement safari with a wonderful bath. I think I will shut the bathroom door and say, a demain. Thank you.